In this video we will see how to create a form in Google Sheets. This interface allows you to enter, update, delete and search data. Start by making the interface using the formatting tools in the Google Spreadsheet. Now we are going to control the data entry in some cells. Here, use a drop-down list to indicate the person's title. Choose list of elements. Enter the elements, separated by commas and without spaces. If you want people to only enter items from the list, choose reject input. Check this box to display the validation help text. Save. Here, the user must enter a valid email. In data validation choose text then is valid email, and save. In the same way, check the entry of the date. Double click on the cell to display the calendar. You can hide the grid lines in the spreadsheet. Now create buttons. Inserting a shape of your choice and a text box within the shape will create the appearance of your button. Now rename this sheet and add a new sheet. In the data sheet add a header. The names of the columns are the same as the names of the text boxes in the form sheet. Go to the script editor to write the cleanup, add, find, update and delete functions. We start with the clear cell function which allows you to clean all the input fields. Here we declare and initialize an array called ranges to clear, which will contain all the addresses of the form cells. Then we browse this table to empty the input fields using the clear content function. Save the file. Now assign the clear cell function to the clear button. Click the button in the upper right corner. There will be a small drop down menu. Click on assign script. Enter the name of the function that you will use. Enable script authorization and access. Now create a function that copies data from the form sheet to the data sheet. Here we use the get sheet by name function to return the two sheets form and data. Then we retrieve all the data present in the cells of the form with the get value function. These values are assigned in an array declared with the name values. We use the get range function for the data sheet which returns the range with the upper left cell at the given coordinates with one row and six columns. Then we define the value of the range with the setValue function. Finally, we call the function performed previously to empty the cells. Here the recording is carried out successfully. Let's add two more records. We use this button and cell to search records using the identifier. This is the function that will be assigned to the search button. 
Here we retrieve the identifier entered by the user in cell B3 and assign it in a str variable. This represents all the data in data sheet. We browse this list, then for each row we compare its first column of index 0 to the value of the variable str. If they are equal then each cell in the form displays the value that matches it in that row found. This code represents the update function which will be assigned to the update button. This module begins with a search for the identifier entered by the user. If this identifier is found then the program records the row number in the int r variable, then it retrieves the data found in the different cells of the form in the values 1 variable. Finally, it replaces the existing content of the selected row with the data of the values 1 variable. The user is informed of the modification through an alert. We are going to modify the line with the identifier equal to 2. The modifications were done well. The last function to show is the delete function which allows you to delete a line. Once the user confirms the deletion through a box message, the program searches for the identifier entered by the user in cell B3, then it retrieves the number of the line in a variable int r. Finally, the deletion is carried out using the delete row function which takes as parameter the number of the selected row. We choose in this example to delete the line whose identifier is 1. Let's check the data sheet. Mission accomplished. If you don't want people to change the content in a spreadsheet, you can protect it. If you want a set of cells to be unprotected in a sheet, check the box next to accept certain cells. Choose who can edit the range or sheet.